Good afternoon. My name is Dan Scanlon. I'm a solutions engineer from Acronis, and today we're going to discover our advanced backup capability for workload migration, specifically cross-platform recovery of VMware vSphere VMs to other platforms. We'll show you how to seamlessly migrate your VMware vSphere VMs to a different hypervisor without having to worry about uh, guest OS driver compatibility. Now, business continuity is established uh, on redundancy, where businesses' uh, systems are, are protected from failure on multiple levels, leveraging such technology as RAID, clustering, and virtualization. With these conditions in mind, most of business-critical systems are already uh, virtualized and run on some type of hypervisor. Now, which imposes uh, additional risks associated with, the, with these hypervisor vendors, which may become out of business at some point, uh, thus leaving these systems without further support so that future outages of the business critical systems become an inevitability and not a, not a good not a good time. Now to mitigate this risk, organizations look for alternative hypervisor vendors and accordingly tools to support migration to these hypervisors. In this video, we will consider migrating from a VMware hypervisor VM to a different virtualization host being scaled for our purposes today. Now, with the Cronus CyberProtect Cloud, you can freely back up VMware VMs using agentless approach with no agent inside the guest OS and recover these backups as virtual machines on a different hypervisor host itself. Now, Cronus will transparently ensure proper bootability of the OS on the target platform. To start with, we already have the Cronus agent for today of VMware deployed and configured to work with vCenter server. So we'll proceed with creating a backup for the VMware ESXi uh, VM we want to migrate. Now I'm going to switch over and show everybody. This is the VM VS Window 2019. It's currently running, booted, booted properly, all that good stuff. Now we'll select the previously prepared VM for backup and start creating a protection plan. Now we're going to use default settings of the protection plan in order to get a one-time backup, which we'll use for the migration. And I did that previously. Entire machine to our cloud storage, um, and then I hit run and created this backup uh, a bit ago. And once that was done, we have the ability now to uh, configure the recovery in the environment which we will target for our migration project. We're going to pick the most recent snapshot for our purposes and then just hit recovery and hit entire machine. We've previously installed the agent for the scale as well, uh, and you, you would do that too in your own environment. Now, in the drop-down menu, you notice here this um, goes back to the original location, back to the the vSphere. We're going to switch here, uh, and in the drop-down menu, show you the different options: ESXi, Hyper-V, Virtuoso, as well as Scale. Now, if it was one of those we don't support, you can still have an agent inside the VM, and then be able to migrate it to the host uh, using bootable media. Uh, that we provide as well, software. So for our purposes, we're going to do new machine. And then we're going to grab our scale cluster here. And for purposes of this demonstration, we're going to just use the same name for it and just hit OK. Now, as you can see, this wizard also allows you to customize the VM parameters on the scale computer cluster, such as the disk uh, configuration, the RAM, and the CPU, and the networking. So we're going to leave all these values uh, by default for simplicity and just hit start recovery. Now I've Taking the liberty of doing that earlier. So now we will move over to the uh, scale cluster and show you that. Now, as the VM has been restored, let's take a look at it in the scale computing cluster UI. You can see down here, we've got it VSWIN 2019. Let's go check out. As you can see, the VM has been booted up properly and is essentially a migrated clone of our original VMware VM. Now, Cronus CyberProtect Cloud automatically takes care of the bootability of the VM in the target platform by patching the drive uh, drivers installed in the guest OS and by patching the bootloader and to allow both EFI and BIOS-based systems to be migrated seamlessly. Now, in conclusion, with the Cronus Cyber Protect Cloud, you can freely migrate your work across various hypervisor hosts uh, and or physical machines as well. 
For possible migration paths, refer to the corresponding table in the documentation uh, that we'll put on the link and provide it with this, uh, with this video, and I'll show you that real quick. Uh, thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, reach out to us. We'd love to help you out, and uh, talk to you soon.